Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. So today we are going to discuss a very amazing concept that is surface energy of a drop. So here is the statement of uh, this problem. As you can see, a liquid drop of volume V is placed on a horizontal surface. The droplet is in equilibrium and having a contact angle of theta. It is given that the surface tension of liquid air interface is TLA surface tension of liquid solid interface is TLS and surface tension of solid air interface is TSA. What will be the total surface energy of liquid droplet? Assume that the droplet takes the spherical shape as shown in the figure. So here this uh, we have to take it is a spherical surface part of some sphere and uh, this is uh, the surface tension which is acting along uh, liquid air uh, interface and this is the surface tension which is acting along uh, solid air interface and this is along uh, solid liquid interface so these are the three surface tensions which are acting so let's uh, discuss the concept part of it so concept wise uh, uh, we can say here as I have mentioned that these are the three different surface tensions which are active, acting along three different interfaces. Since liquid drop is in uh, equilibrium, so we will do the force balancing. I am going to take the small element of angle D alpha. Uh, this is the top view by the way. This is the top view. So here I am going to balance the forces. So the force which is uh, going to act in this direction it is going to be the force on solid air interface i'm calling it as dfsa similarly uh, this dfla cos theta it is due to liquid air interface and its cos theta component is going to come it is going to be balanced by this this vertical component will be balanced by uh, uh, other forces in vertical direction we are not interested here in this and uh, similarly i can write uh, the force due to solid liquid interface that is dfsl so i can substitute the values here since length of this part is uh, rd alpha so this dfsa i can write as a tsa times rd alpha similarly here i can write uh, tla rd alpha cos theta uh, tla cos theta is the surface tension component in this direction uh, times rd alpha it's cos theta component i'm taking this is the force similarly uh, surface tension of solid liquid interface uh, multiplied by this length where this force is acting so that is going to be tsl rd alpha uh, if i uh, solve this i'm going to get uh, this relation and uh, tsa plus tla cos theta plus tsl all right, so this is given in NCRT book also. However, more discussion on this is not given. So we are going to use this equation for equilibrium of uh, liquid droplet. Now here we can see uh, if theta is less than pi by 2, this theta is less than pi by 2, the liquid will stick to the surface and we can say it is a wetting liquid. And if theta is greater than pi by 2, liquid will be repelled away from the surface or we can say it is non-wetting liquid. Uh, in, in this case, uh, diagram will be somewhat like this. And for theta greater than pi by 2, uh, theta greater than pi by 2, this diagram will look like something like this. All right. So here I'm going to use some standard result like surface area of this cup, this curved surface that we have seen at multiple places in previous videos also we have discussed about this and more when Gauss theorem you calculate it so a is 2 pi r square 1 minus cos theta if this angle is theta 90 minus theta this angle also we can say theta another part is this result normally we don't remember it uh, I'll suggest uh, if you can remember it will be well and good otherwise you can take a small small disk on this uh, part and you can calculate the volume of this uh, liquid droplet which is present here which turns out as uh, pi capital r cube by 3 1 minus cos theta whole square plus 2 cos theta here if you put uh, theta equal to pi this expression becomes 4 by 3 pi r cube which is nothing but the volume of the complete sphere and this radius r is a small r sin theta this is going to be small r sin theta so these are the uh, direct results i'm going to use however i'll advise you to either remember it or 
derive this especially this volume relation because the area part we all can remember now calculation of uh, surface energy here it's a very important how to write this uh, calculation of uh, surface energy so this part is very simple the tla multiplied by this area this is the surface tension along the tangent so uh, here it's a very straightforward tla cos uh, tla times area of this part and we know the area value here after this now this is a tricky part we must remember most of my students made a mistake when i gave this question as a challenge to them and they just took uh, tsl they just took tsl times pi small r square see here net force is coming due to the overall resultant tension in this direction and that is tsl minus tsa towards the surface so we have to write this towards the surface net surface tension is going to be tsl minus tsa times pi r square this is how we are going to write uh, surface energy of uh, this liquid droplet and you see this value is actually negative from the previous equation we can uh, see here that tsl minus tsa is actually negative so this energy is positive this energy is negative now we are going to substitute the values here uh, if you substitute uh, a value uh, tla to pi r square 1 minus cos theta similarly here if i substitute then i am substituting using that equilibrium and this becomes t liquid air cos theta times pi r square sin square theta so we can eliminate this tsl and tsa and we can reduce this surface tension to t liquid air itself which is normally given to us in the problem so when i simplify this i am going to get this type of expression which i can further uh, simplify and i am going to get this uh, surface energy as a very nice calculation will come here it may look uh, messy but actually it's a very simple calculation so this uh, term i can write it as 1 minus cos theta 2 plus cos theta then when i substitute finally this my expression of u is going to be tla pi r square 1 minus cos theta whole square plus times 2 plus cos theta now this expression is somewhat resembling this uh, volume expression so what i am going to do is i am substituting uh, volume here and this value is nothing but 3v by r so very simple nice uh, surface energy expression comes and that is t liquid air times 3v by r i'll advise students to remember this it's very simple 3v by r v is the volume of that part directly we can write but uh, however this is applicable uh, only for uh, liquid present on a flat surface liquid drop present on the flat surface if surface was like this and then uh, droplet is present then this logic will not work so it is present for the liquid surfaces liquid droplets present on the flat surface and you can see here this is a very nice result if i substitute v equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube i am getting surface energy of uh, complete drop that is coming as tla 4 pi r square that is what we were expecting also there is only one surface so this is going to be the answer here in this form we can leave it like this but since r was not given theta was given so now i'm going to substitute the value of uh, r as a function of theta i'll be using the volume relation again when i do that this is the r value here uh, from the volume volume was uh, pi capital r cube by 3 1 minus cos theta whole square 2 plus cos theta when i substitute this value in this expression uh, i'll be getting tla 9 v square pi 1 minus cos theta whole square 2 plus cos theta to the power 1 by 3 this is going to be the answer for this particular problem i hope you have uh, learned a new concept and uh, i hope you have enjoyed the video also so if you have enjoyed it please uh, leave a like share it with your uh, friends and teachers and let me know if you want uh, more videos on this particular concept so <clears throat> if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be bringing another uh, amazing problem very soon thank you thank you very much